What is up everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and hope you're having a good day. This is Josh from VHU and we are continuing my series of Fallout New Vegas mod reviews. We are sticking with guns yet again. I'm thinking in the next couple videos we will switch and start doing something else. I don't know if I'm ready to do a quest mod yet, uh, but I may do like some add-ons to the game and stuff like that. Um, what we're going to do first, we have a couple, we have three guns to take a look at today. The first one is one that, um, you know, I'm not really knowledgeable on my guns in real life. Uh, but this gun I heard of because I play a lot of DayZ, and if you're in DayZ, it's a really common beginner gun to find. Uh, very common gun. It's the Makarov. This is a handgun. Um, so once you get the mod installed, um, you're going to head to Good Springs. The link is in the description below. This is Doc Mitchell's house. You're going to head in and head to the bed where you start the game. And there it is. So apparently this is a very high detailed gun. It actually looks pretty cool. There are it uses 9mm rounds and it does it has a couple of attachments there's a suppressor chrome finish and extended magazine so let's head outside so we can get a good look at this baby weapons alright this is the Makarov I believe it, it, they call it Makarov PM I don't really know I don't know my guns but I think I saw that so this is the gun um, pretty nice looking gun it's uh... You know, it's, it's it's nicely high detailed. You can see it's very high detailed, um, but it still seems to match the style of the game. Let's uh, let's fire some shots here. Oh, we should take a look at the damage. Eight round magazines, damage per second 82, damage 18. So we'll fire a few rounds a second here. Cool. Significantly strong weapon and also fast firing. Um, it does have unique sounds, if you can't tell. So reloads are pretty quick, just like a standard handgun. Okay, let's take a look at some of the attachments here. So we will take eight round magazines. Let's put on extended magazines. That will put us up to 12 round magazines. Okay, so let's go into mods again. Let's put on, let's look at the gun right now because now we're going to start getting into visual attachments. So let's look. This is the gun. Let's put on the suppressor. Okay, standard again. Let's uh, fire some shots here. Okay, and I don't know if that's a unique sound or not. I know that the main sound without the suppressor is. But I don't know for sure about the the uh, suppressed sound. I'm again, I'm not too sure. Uh, I I've never really been too big on suppressed or um, yeah, suppressed weapons in Fallout. Um, okay, let's try our uh, next and final attachment. This is the big important one. That's the, what the gun looks like. There is a chrome finish attachment, and let's see what that looks like. And there it is. So it makes the gun actually. I think I look at, like it better without the attachment. Victor, fuck you. Okay, so that's gonna do it for a review of the Makarov. Uh, pretty nice gun. Again, it's pretty standard. It seems to fit in well with the game, and it's a pretty popular gun. Um, so if you're looking to get a new handgun, try to spice it up a little bit, um, definitely check that out. Link is in the uh, description below. Okay guys, we find ourselves here in Prim for our next mod. Uh, this is what I'm really excited about. This is a World War II weapon and I really like World War II stuff. This is the British Lee Enfield number 4. This is uh, apparently a very high rated gun on the Nexus website. Link is in the description below. So to access this gun, you're going to head to Prim, to the Nash Residence. This is a place made famous because this is where you would get ED. Um, so you're going to head behind here. You're going to see it on the shelf. You have to steal it. Um, there is one attachment. So we're going to steal it. Can't steal those ones for some reason. Okay. And we're going to head outside. And uh, let's get underneath the light here. Let's take a good look at the at the gun. So number four, damage per second, 97. Damage, 90. So it's basically a round per second. Um, so that's the gun. I think uh, that is freaking awesome. 
Um, let's listen to the sound. Awesome. Sorry, Ruby. Um, let's check reloads. Oh, it already reloaded. Um, okay, well, let's fire. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I really like that it actually, actually cranks the lever there. Let's check reloads here. That's cool. That's awesome. In terms of, you know, in terms of realism, this is my favorite gun mod I've done so far. Um, of course, the the um, carbine and the LSW for my last mod were definitely my favorite in terms of damage because it's just just insane. Um, what do you think? Fucking talk shit to me, bitch. But, okay, we have an attachment to take a look at here. This would just be, I'm assuming, just a sniper scope. Adds a long range scope. So let's, uh, let's see what that looks like. So the scope's off to the side. And I'm sure that's supposed to be like that. And there it is. Now, I don't know if this is World War II authentic. Um, but it is really cool. Again, I don't know if, if the scope, because I don't think, I don't know if they had scopes on the side like that, because it's not perfectly straight. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Maybe you guys, you know, if you guys know, you guys can, um, can give me some insight, but I think the, the gun looks really sweet. Um, if I were to use this gun, for one, I uh, 100% recommend it, but two, if I were to use it, uh, I personally would not use the scope. Uh, I'm a big VATS user anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But either way, um, I would probably not use the scope because I want to try. I would want this to be as authentic as possible. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Alright guys, that'll pretty much do it for this review. We have uh, we have one more to take a look at, and uh, then we'll be done for the day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in Good Springs where we will take a look at our final mod. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is one that's been on the website for a little bit of a while now, maybe a month or so, and it's been very high praise. Lots of endorsements, lots of downloads, lots of uh, really good reviews. Apparently, it is very nicely detailed and very well done. This is an AK-74, one of the most iconic guns in the world, except for maybe the Tommy gun. Um, so, in order to access this gun, once you get it installed, well, of course, we're gonna head to Doc Mitchell's house, which is where I'm finding most of our uh, most of our mods begin. Head to the right, you'll see a Vigor meter, uh, Vigor matic, sorry, Vigor matic tester. Here to the right, there's the entranceway. That's where you did the opening, you know, where you picked your skills and traits and stuff. Right there on the ground, beside the oxygen tanks, there's the gun. It's AK-74, value 1599. It's got two attachments, a uh, Cobra red dot sight and a silencer. And they also give you a little bit of uh, ammo as well. Let's uh, let's head outside so we can get a good look at the gun in the sunlight. Perfect, it is daytime. AK-74, and let's take a look. And there it is, and that is an awesome looking gun. Again, a very high detail, but it also really fits in with the style of the game. I'm really uh, real realizing now that I'm very picky about that. Um, a gun should be fitting in with the style of the game damage is and what I mean by the style of the game is not like the same time era but you know the the wasteland is rusty and falling apart and barren the gun should be too you know if you see a really nice really sweet looking brand new looking gun it really doesn't seem to fit in with the style of the game in my opinion so damage is 20 per bullet damage per second 206 so about 10 rounds a second let's uh, see how this sounds Bad example. Huh. Um, okay, let's just fire some rounds here. I don't know if those are custom sounds or not. Um, does sound pretty cool though. Oh, I have an enemy now. Okay. So, very nice looking gun, awesome looking gun.
pretty cool sounding gun. There are some attachments before we uh, before we end it. Let's uh, take a look. Let's take a look at the silencer. If anyone can tell me, by the way, why you attach a attachment to a modified gun or to a, an add-on gun when you exit, the item is unequipped. I don't understand that. The like you know, if I attach a, a the silencer to the co to the uh, to this AK-74, when I go to exit, my weapon is un unequipped and I have to re-equip it. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal because I'm doing reviews, but um, for me doing if I was in the middle of combat, that'd be kind of a pain in the ass. So let's. Uh, this is a silencer. Let's. Uh, let's take a listen. Again, if you watched in the last clip there, I mentioned that I'm not really familiar with guns. I don't know too much about guns. Like I know the basics. I don't know if these guns came with silencers or if this is just something this guy just put in there because he wanted to. The last attachment is red dot sight, baby. Let's uh, take a look at this beast. Awesome. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the sight. That red dot, or the um, for one, I don't think that's red dot. It's not red dot. It's more of an optical sight. And the lines seem too thick to me, and that's just my opinion. The lines seem a little bit too... Uh, The lines seem a little too thick, and I think it can interfere with your line of sight. Do you not die? Like, fuck. There you go. Okay, so another good gun I recommend checking out. Um, I'm not a big fan of the sight, so if you're going to use it, you can use the sight if you like that. It's pretty accurate. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. So, I mean, if you the, the sight's accurate, just I, I think it's too bulky and thick the lines but I do like the gun um, so definitely another one to check out if you like it it will be in the description below as usual if you have any questions feel free to ask um, and if you have any requests I would be happy to as well and again if you guys know the answer to that question why when I equip an attachment to a add-on weapon the gun unequips itself uh, if there's a way to fix that please let me know so that I can um, I can deal with that. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot more to say. We are going to see you in a couple days with some more mods. And I hope you have a good day. Peace out, guys.